My America is the lover I can't get I enough can't of. I can't get enough of. But he's choking my sanity down to shred, 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 shreds. This motherfucker needs asylum. Insane traits like bipolar tendencies. He one minute can't get enough of me, and the next minute he's taking everything out of me, like a vampire draining the life out of me. I can't breathe. Real life is about it. Hey, we've had some break-ins in my neighborhood, and there's a real suspicious guy. Uh, it's retreating circle. I hate the way they portray us in the media. You see a black family that says they're looting. You see a white family that says they're looking for food. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. They've given them permission to go down and shoot us. He's near the clubhouse right now? Yeah, now he's coming towards me. George Bush doesn't care about black George people. George Bush doesn't care about black George people. George Bush doesn't care about black people. He's coming to check me out. He's got something in his hands. I don't know what he's doing. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. They always get away. Just words that are spoken, words immaculately birthed as testimony, bleeding out my every hope from the pen into the paper. It soaks these words, demand justice, give purpose to those who feel voiceless. This everlasting gun blasting, ignorant smashing rhetoric with these words, I break chains, bust open cell doors, seek something else besides the bottle to remedy the pain. Through pride, sacrifice, and perseverance, humility, I gain. These words in the past of hope. These words. We are fearless voices of the struggle, a beacon for the people leading the revolution. 